Hey. Hey, what's... Jack's arrest made the front page. He's being charged with disorderly conduct, assault, resisting arrest, oh, not to mention possession. If the judge sees that, he's not even going to be able to get visitation rights. I mean, Carly was willing to share custody, but Jack's refused. I mean, he turned this into a fight. It didn't have to be. Yeah, I understand that. And I know Sonny said that he would do anything he had to for Carly to protect Jocelyn, but I think he might have took it a little too far, Jason. Come on, discrediting Jax is one thing, but planting drugs... Jax was willing to do whatever it took to get his way. So was Sonny. It was a... It's just that the worst part about all this is now there's an innocent child stuck in the middle. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn's gonna have to grow up having to choose between her parents, and I don't see how that's yeah, fair. Yeah, it's not fair. That's why Carly wanted to join custody. Okay, well then I just wish Jack could have found a way to compromise before things got out of hand. Not that that would have mattered to Sonny. Yeah, but Sonny took a risk by even getting involved. This could ruin his, his marriage to Brenda. Wait a minute. You you think Brenda would leave Sonny over this? Uh, listen, I, I think that Brenda still cares about Jack, and once she finds out that Sonny framed him, especially to help Carly, it's, it's not gonna be good. Yeah, well, I don't like it either, Jason. We both know that when Sonny sets his mind to something, there's no point in trying to change it. He doesn't stop until he gets what he wants. Okay, but Sonny didn't get to where he is without being ruthless. He just doesn't want Brenda or the kids to see that side of him. Yeah, well, that is hard not to when Jax is being brought up on drug charges right before the judge rolls on Jocelyn's custody. <sighs> Blame Jax for wanting to protect Jocelyn, but he just... He took it too far when he brought Michael and Morgan to the whole thing. He wanted to use their testimony against Carly. He implied that Michael's too dangerous to be left alone with Jocelyn. Yes, I know. Okay, and agree. Jax knew there was going to be a fallout, yeah. but I don't think he had any idea how hard Sonny was going to hit back. Yeah, neither did Carly. And I know that she wants to keep Jocelyn, but I don't think she's going to be okay with this. What are you doing here? I thought you were grounded. Well, I'm a lot out of the house, but I lost my computer privileges indefinitely. Okay, well, I'd say you got off pretty easy. Well, I know helping Morgan was wrong, but the goal was still right. If Carly and Jax get back together, they can forget all about this whole custody battle and Jocelyn can live with both of her parents. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, gonna happen, Molly. Well, definitely not now. I saw Jax's picture in the paper. Did Uncle Sonny set him up so that Carly would win custody? Look, there has to really think I can answer that. Why? Because you don't want to incriminate yourself or Uncle Sonny? No, because Jason didn't have anything to do with what happened in Jax's suite. But Uncle Sonny did. It's a logical assumption. I mean, Jax was threatening to take Jocelyn away from Carly, so of course she would turn to Uncle Sonny for help. He's a gangster. He has I, the means, the motive, and the opportunity to make Jax look like a bad person. No, Jax is not a bad person. Well, I know, but if the judge thinks he is, then Carly would get custody. That was the plan, right? Um, well, you know, Carly, Jax, and myself, and even Sonny, we want what's best for Jocelyn, but... Sometimes you get so caught up in what you think is right, you actually lose sight of what's really important. That Jocelyn needs both of her parents. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And, and Jax and Carly should have found a way to compromise. But they didn't, and now they hate each other. It's complicated, Molly. Breakups can be really very painful, and Jax and Carly are both hurt and angry, and they just happen to unfortunately be taking it out in this custody fight. It's just proof that love is a lie. Really, what about all those great love stories you've read about? Romeo and Juliet, Lancelot and Guinevere, Paris and Helen, Odysseus mm -hmm. and Penelope, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Wait a minute, what, what are you saying? Do you think none of those people loved each other? Well, love is like unicorns or dragons or wizards. It's wonderful to read about and imagine, but it doesn't happen. At least not in reality. I mean, look at Mom. Mm -hmm. She's been married. Yes. Probably thought she was in love at the time, but it didn't last. None of her relationships have. I just assumed that it was because mom was picking the wrong guys. But they weren't the problem. Love is. If it was real, it would last. It 
It does for some people. Well, it didn't for Jax and Carly. It probably won't for Uncle Sonny and Aunt Brenda after she reads about Jax's arrest, which is such a shame because their wedding was so romantic. Molly, you know, things don't always work out the way we want. You know, people do make mistakes. That doesn't mean that they weren't in love. I mean, it does exist. And you'll know it when you find it. Sam are proof that love does last. At least it has so far. Though I probably just jinxed it by saying that. No, no, don't say that. Relationships end for tons of reasons. People make mistakes, they grow apart. Sometimes they even realize that they weren't even meant to be together in the first place. But I've never heard of a relationship ending because a little sister put a jinx on it. Well, you know what I mean. Listen, Molly, love doesn't always happen the way you read about it in books. I mean, take Jason and I. We had our problems, and we, we thought we were over. But we were wrong. And if we had given up on love, we wouldn't be together right now. I always thought love was something magical, something that could overcome any obstacle. And yours has. I mean, when you look at all of the ways that your love has been tested and the fact that you've made it through stronger than ever is pretty remarkable. Yes, it is. But what if someone never finds love at all? I think the biggest mistake people make is searching when they should just let love happen. And it will, Molly. And you are way too young to even think about that right now. You will fall in love someday. And when that happens, it is going to be better than anything you have ever imagined. Even unicorns. So, do you, uh, do you work tonight? Well... I don't know. Things are pretty slow at the office. Mm -hmm. Do you know our biggest case right now is the bakery stakeout that Spinelli's on? But the good news is... What? The good news is he has no idea that this is a diversion that you put him on to keep him out of trouble. The bad news is I have to take on some extra cases to offset the cost. Do you know he spent all of our petty cash in cupcakes, Jason? How much? $400. 400 bucks on yes, cupcakes? Yes, and it's only been a couple days. Okay. Can you imagine if this goes on for weeks? Okay, I'll deal with Spinelli. Okay. So do you have plans tonight or not? No. Why? Why? I just, just want to take you to dinner. You do? Mm -hmm. I mean, you just you never want to go out. Well, tonight I, I do. Okay. And where do you want to go? Some place, you know, private. You know, maybe a picnic on the roof of that building Sonny and I own. The one with the great water views. Do you want to have a picnic on the roof with me? What are you up to? Does that sound that crazy to you? Unexpected. Maybe. I mean, from you. Yeah, I just thought we could... eat. Eat? Yeah, eat. That's what you do at dinner. The building is on 10th in Edith, and it's a very nice night out. It's warm. So, will you, will you come? All right, it is a beautiful night out. Mm -hmm. You know, we could just order some Chinese and get some cold beers and get out here. Yeah, we could. But it wouldn't be as uh, special. As in on a roof? It's not like we haven't done it before. Yeah, but for special occasions. I mean, is, is this a special occasion? Well, why don't you show up and find out? Why are you doing that to me? You're what? acting all mysterious and you've got that funny little smile. What are you talking about? I smile? Not that smile. What? Jason, you're very matter of fact. If you are hot, you pull the covers off. If you're hungry, you eat. And if you want to take a ride, you go. Well, 
Maybe it's a ride. I want to take you on. Well, maybe I want you to tell me exactly where it is that we're going before I decide I want to go on that ride or not. Mm. Come on. Just tell me. Now, you can ask me all you want about tonight, but you're not going to find out until you get there. But I really But there's no no, because the longer you take to say yes, the less time I have to prepare. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Since when do you prepare? Sorry, okay, okay, correction. No, for business, you are always prepared, down to the last second. But for your right. personal life, you are spontaneous. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna get any answers until I go to the roof. Fine. You go prepare. Good. What? Well, yeah. do you want me to bring anything? No, I got it covered. Really? Yeah, all I need is, is you. Me? Yep. Wait, hold on one second. Should I wear something tactful or trendy? Uh, I think you should wear whatever makes you feel beautiful. I mean, not that you need much help with that. Mm -hmm. help with that. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. One hour. Yeah, one okay, hour. Bye. Yeah. Hold on, give me a second to catch my breath. Okay, what's wrong with Spinelli? Or a Jackal PR, yeah, or both of them? Spinelli's okay. Then what's the big emergency? Why did you need me? I could very possibly regret this, and don't make me. But I, I need your help. My help? I invited Sam uh, to dinner. On, on a rooftop. It's a very special dinner. You, you are proposing, right? Yes, and that's why... Say no right. more. You, you need someone with taste and flash. Set the mood right. More, more taste, less flash, please. Trust me. What are you wearing? Obviously what, not what you have on. What, and what's the menu? And flowers. There have to be flowers. Well, there's a florist in the building, a tent. And, Ooh, uh, Edith? Edith? Yeah. No, that's a horrible idea. They sell stuff for graves. You and Sunny own the building, right? Actually, no, don't answer that. I'll set the whole thing up. Wait, the ring! No, I need to see the ring. Judging by your taste in florists, the jeweler probably already had tacky engraved on the inside. Well, I, I don't really have a ring, so what do, what Wait, do I do about a, what, a ring? No ring? Well, forget it. You're dead in the water. I don't know. This is completely different from anything I've had you do for Kate Howard or the magazine. It needs to be intimate. Urban with a touch of, oh, the color, the color scheme sounds perfect. Yes, the dessert sounds great. I let the building manager know you're on your way over to let you in. I still have a lot of work to do to pull this thing out of the fire. I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> what are you wearing? What do you, what do you mean? You told me to change, so I, I, I changed. You, you need to wear a blue shirt. What are you talking? This is fine. This is a good suit. No, this is not fine. I arranged the entire color scheme to match the blue of your eyes, and it needs to reflect off of your shirt. I work for a fashion magazine. Well, I'm the one proposing, not somebody in a fashion magazine. And these clothes are fine. Do you love this woman? Come on. Yes, I love Sam. Then you need to make some sort of effort. Thank God you had the sense to call me. Uh, and I'm starting to regret that. <laughs> okay. Well, there's men's attire in the warehouse at work, so I can run by there and grab you a blue shirt. It's, Sam's fine. It's not going to matter. She's not going to care. Every woman cares. Okay, do you have something prepared that you're going to say? I am not surprised. Well, I, I mean, I have the general idea of what I'm, I'm going to say. Okay, practice. With you? Yes, with me. Get down on one knee and propose your general idea to me. I'll get it. It's for me. Or, more importantly, for Sam. Evelyn, thank God. I got here as quickly as I could. Jason, this is Evelyn. She lets Crimson borrow all of her fine jewelry for our upscale shoots. This is Jason, our emergency in question. Don't worry, I'll be picking out the ring. I didn't know the ring was for you. How lovely. Congratulations. You guys make a very sweet couple. <laughs> I've never heard the term surrogate bride before, but... Whatever works. We need this proposal to work. I like these. Which one? The blue one? It's called a sapphire. Five carats, oval, set in platinum. With lots of sparkles around it. Enhancement, courtesy of 14 surrounding diamonds. A very popular choice. Very. It's the engagement ring that Prince William gave to Kate. Shouldn't it be simpler? Okay, what about that one? Ah, oh, yes, lovely. 14 carat white gold aquamarine. Just like the color of the shirt you'll be wearing that matches your eyes. Kind of matches my eyes, too. I like this one. It's not for you. Yeah, but they're my 
could be, you know, an occasion where Sam would want to let me borrow it, since I am the surrogate and all. This one. Oh, my. Oh, wow. From the private reserve. Brought it on a lock. How much is it? Uh, the cut, color, and clarity are flawless. So... Wow! I think Sam's gonna love this. So, is that a yes? So? It's a yes. No. Wow. <laughs> what were you doing out on the porch like a stranger? Oh, I need you to use your key. I didn't Come mind, in. actually. It's nice weather. You know, the humidity's not so bad for late July. Really? Yeah. It's kind of hot. Are you dizzy? Even if I were, I'd never be too busy for my daughter. What's up? I think you're amazing. I do. We do. Your job, raising Christina and Molly. Uh, <sighs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> it's certainly a quantity job. It's. It's. I'm not sure that I. I'm so good with the quality part of it. No. Uh. -uh Christina and Molly prove that you are. But despite everything that you've been through, and despite everything that they've been through, do you ever? What? Well, do you ever wish that you weren't doing it alone? Oh. You gonna go there? This isn't about Mac, is it, or me? I mean... No. We talk on the phone. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, phone tag. It's just... <sighs> well, I mean, do you ever miss being in love? <sighs> I... What? I mean, do you think that we sabotage love, I... or do you think that it lasts? Think it's both? Okay. What are you getting at? I... Okay. I really want to tell you something, but I'm not sure you're going to be happy about it, and I kind of want you to. Okay, so Molly came to see Jason and me, and she's in a big twist because she's really down on love right now. Good. I need a break from some of those romantic soliloquies. Really? I mean, is it that bad? Yes, you don't live with her. Anyway, no. a little healthy cynicism is good for her. When she gets older, it'll protect her heart from all the boys that will use it as target practice. Yeah, but this is the thing. If we stop believing, right, and, and we think that love is a lie, then we die inside. And that's what Molly thinks right now. She thinks that love is a lie. Is this because of Sonny and Brenda? And Jax and Carly. Yeah. And me, and the mm -hmm. list is too long. That's Never mind. What did you tell her? Well, I told her that love can sustain you. And I also told her that sometimes when you think that you've lost it, it can turn around and you can get it back and it'll be better than it ever was to begin with. You didn't just make that up off the top of your head. You've been thinking about this, haven't you? Well, I mean, it's just that Jason and I, we've... We were what? We've been together a long time. Let me just say you have trouble here. You and Jason are talking about suddenly getting married, right? See how much better this looks? No, I don't. Could you work with me, please? The roof is already set up. I had them email me pictures just to be sure, so the rest is up to you. Okay. And this. I really didn't think you had such great taste, but it's probably because you deal in so much contraband. What, what are you doing? You can't really appreciate the stone until you viewed it in natural no, light. No, no, I have appreciated the rain already. What no, see how much it sparkles in the sunlight? But you're going to need to get it sized because it's a little big. 